hello hello everyone it's Tara here welcome back to the channel in today's video I'm gonna be trying this viral TikTok hack that I've been seeing every single day every single night all day every day where people use a jelly nail stamper to make these perfect sculpted French tips and I'm gonna be trying it now if you're like me things that work for everyone else they don't work for me so I'm gonna try it for you guys today and see if it works I just have a feeling it's not gonna work for me I don't know but I'm gonna try <laughs> before we get to all that I really want to take a second to thank all of my new subscribers and all of my loyal subscribers who have stuck with me to this point you guys i am almost to 900 subscribers and i can't even believe like this has all happened so fast i'm gonna be at a thousand very soon so this is the jelly stamper that i'm gonna be using it is brand new um but it is kind of dusty so i am gonna wipe it down before i start and by jelly they're you can see here it's like really uh, i don't know flexible <laughs> there are some stampers that are not jelly i don't have one to show you but there are some stampers that are hard and they're either green or blue something like that but i'm just going to try to push this one back in place so the polish that i'm going to be using is white attic by nail addict la and from what I've seen people do, they just kind of put a bunch on top of the jelly stamper. So I'm just putting as much as I think I've seen other people do and we'll just see if that's enough. Now, something that I've seen other people have issues with is sometimes they'll have a lot of polish left on the sides of their nails so i dug out my liquid latex tape and you guys this stuff is really old so i didn't even think it was still gonna have its like latex power and i'm so used to using this for doing ombre nails i don't know why i put it up all the way on my cuticles y'all i did, it clearly didn't need to go up there <laughs> but so i put it i saw people who had uh like the nail polish would get under their nail and on the sides of their finger and as you can see i got really happy and excited with it so i put a lot on my fingers and i probably did not need this much and it took forever to dry so if you do try this don't use this much you don't need this much for it to work so yeah you'll see later on in the video how it turned out okay so now that i have that all on it did start to dry on some of the nails so this is after it is completely dry i went ahead and wiped that polish off of my stamper that i had on before and here is the moment of truth let's see if this is gonna work is it not gonna work i was so nervous to finally try it so i just went ahead and just pushed my nail all the way in there and 
it completely worked. I couldn't believe that it it worked. <laughs> so yeah, it absolutely worked, you guys. So I went ahead and peeled off the latex barrier. And then I just took an uh, old like nail brush and dipped it in some alcohol and I just wiped it on a paper towel and just cleaned up around the sides where I couldn't get really close with the barrier. And then I cured that so I didn't mess it up. And I noticed that a little bit of the polish kind of like didn't get all the way on the nail. So I just took a really thin layer of the white and put it on the tips where some of the brown was still showing through and it looked absolutely perfect. And then when I top coated it, it smoothed everything over so you couldn't see that extra white layer I put down. And you guys, it just, it came out absolutely per Like it looks like a press on. I mean, it was a press on nail, but it just came out so perfect. So this is when I tried it again on my middle finger. And I don't know what happened. Like my finger just like buckled in and you guys, <laughs> no. So I wiped that one off with a, a little bit of alcohol, put some more polish on the stamper. It ain't no big deal, y'all. Took a couple of seconds and we just tried it again. And you know, got my angles right. And second time's a charm. Bam, look at that. Perfect. She's a 10, y'all so that's it you guys it it definitely works super super easy as you can see this video is only 11 minutes long i would say i mean obviously i polished my nails a base color before you don't have to do this you could do this on your natural nails and it would still look just as nice i chose to polish my nails a base color but i would say from start to finish doing this left hand probably took like 20 minutes I mean, plus the time of just cleaning up the sides of my nails. So this little hack totally works. It was so easy, so easy. I could not believe that it really worked. Like, I don't know who thought of this, but that person is a genius. Like, what were you doing to accidentally figure this out? Act like, just so smart and easy. Can't believe this worked. And you could do this with other colors, obviously. You could do this with, I mean, anything. So yeah, this is how it looked, you guys. And then it wouldn't be me without bling. Come on now. <laughs> um, and then I top coated it after this. So yeah, definitely I recommend you trying this. If you are going to try this, let me know, you guys, so I can watch or, you know see it on Instagram or something like that and this is the bling that I put on with the McCart rhinestone glue
So yeah, you guys, here's gonna be the final look coming up soon. Let me know if you like this. Let me know if you try it. Please don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, you guys. I'm almost to 1K, and it's all thanks to you because you are the absolute best, and I love you guys. Thanks for watching.